Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at leveling up and the process of that. We're gonna use Behemoth. As you can see, he's currently at level 80. No weapons, nothing. First, let's evolve him. And of course, we consume diamonds, the tier 1, in doing that. Then, if you have enough money and energy, you can do this automatically. Upgrade his level directly, not by pressing continuously. That's the first point. The second point, if you press on skill, you can see his skills. Now, of course, he's not a legendary monster. So these are unlocked currently. Are locked. Now, let's look at another aspect of him. Choosing weapons. Basically, equipping him with weapons. Let's add this. And then this helmet. And let's select an armor for him. Yeah, we'll have to go with that for now. And then the boots. Select this. So this is the first point that you need to do with any of your heroes. The second thing is you can enhance the weapon. This consumes money and veranium. You can also press on the gear button and choose to what level you want it to continuously try to enhance on its own. Let's choose enhance to level 5. If you see on the bottom, the success rate explains the difficulty of enhancement. The more you enhance the level, it will go down the success rate from get to high to medium until we reach low. Let's watch. And yes, it fails and then succeeds and it fails more than succeeding. The status rate success rate sorry now is low means it's going to be more difficult and will consume more material okay one last level done when you unlock different levels of a weapon it adds these attributes that the weapon has let's go to the armor and enhance we're gonna choose enhance to level 10 that was actually a weapon of level 15 maximum success rate high medium the attribute was opened to adding 3000 hp additional that's the attribute
that unlocked an additional 2% attack B level and D category level HP now let's go to the shoes or the boots there are different grades if you see in front of me and you can see beneath them a gem like icon that looks purple yellow blue the more you have it beneath a weapon the more the stronger the weapon is for instance i'll show you something after this but first let's try to enhance this at least one or two levels Right. I'll show you an upper tier weapons, then we'll go back to what we were talking about. This is the Destiny Blade. Right? As you can see, it goes up to level 13 with additional attributes. This is the upper level, grade 9. 15 levels very powerful the enhancing attributes and the rank is C it adds skill damage HP twice attack enhancement suit also adds to it and this is the enhancement suit I haven't unlocked all its attributes yet but as you can see it has A for attack B for attack and more attributes that can be unlocked but it consumes 10,000 Viranium for each attempt it's a difficult one so next let's talk about Stigmata right you'll find that your monster unless he's awakened above excellent when you try to uh, uh, add any Stigmata it will be all locked but with an awakened monster and at, a, at an upper level this is stigmata right so which one is better what are the differences that's pretty much easily to understand first there's the stars underneath each one the more stars it has, the stronger it is. Stigmata with 5 stars is at the beginning before you level it up, already stronger. If you see this, right? Because it's 3 stars, it has block and broken armor. Another one, block plus effect resistance. Critical plus critical plus this is a normal one Block plus effective resistance now, how do you Level them up you click on one of them Click enhance You'll need gold and you'll need stigmata resources to do that and you click on enhance and it goes up to level 10 I believe that's the highest level you can achieve let's enhance also this or actually change it this is Banshee uh, you can actually read its description the ability to fight back with damage equal to 25 of incoming damage right so let's see if we have something that can match it by the way when clicking on one of them it shows you the stigmata that can be added in the slot right you'll notice that there is different colors this one the blue one is the lowest and the weakest okay this one 
you can consider it excellent like your uh, heroes the color this one you can consider it epic that's that's like a simple way to understand it and the stars also show that so what's up with this arrow this is vital vital is stronger of course if it has more stars also than normal stigmata it always looks like it has an arrow but it's different so let us equip it see that additional of power let's enhance it and it really takes a lot really consumes a lot of stigmata resources to be enhanced and money 300k per level and then it increases let's upgrade it to level 10 Again, as we're looking here, this is an upper tier one. Stronger than the rest of what you see below in the, on the screen. Right? And it is at level 8. Plus, uh, sorry, 6. Plus 6. You can see it. It adds HP. Whenever you want to understand it, you just have to stand on it. And it will tell you exactly what it does. This adds block effect for damage. Plus, like an attribute, attack. HP plus attack. Critical hit. Critical damage resistance plus attack. Accuracy plus damage immunity. Oh, and also, before I forget... Back to Stigmata. You can see the attribute attribute bonus for all your Stigmata combined together. So as you can see, the HP of all my selections and upgrades will add plus 21,600 HP to the hero. Critical plus 4. Block plus 6.4. Attack plus 4. Attack plus 640, Accuracy plus 12, Immune Damage plus 2, Critical Damage Resistance plus 6%. So Stigmata is important in you understanding it, because not only does it add power, the number you see here, 173, but it also adds additional attributes of resistance and blocking. That's an important factor you need to focus on. Now for this guy, in his current status, he cannot be uh, upgraded to a, a level 101. You have to awaken him at this stage. Now certain monsters are a little bit of an issue because they need their same type to be awakened. So, he will first need his same type at excellent where he already starts at excellent then after that he'll need excellent plus and so on until you get to epic sorry let's get someone that's epic he will require excellent plus when you get to epic plus it can be excellent plus depends see but it's gonna be the same hero when you get to legendary, right, it's going to be two monsters at epic. When you get to mystic, now things really take a turn. First, the original monster needs to be at excellent plus, And then you need one epic of the same faction, another monster. So for instance, these are also technology monsters that match the request of epic still needed blaze uh, blaze centaur an excellent plus at legendary he needs to epic nature 
So each faction will always use material from its same faction. Nature will use nature. Technology will use technology. Superman will use Superman. Dark heroes will use dark heroes. Light will only use light monsters. The same applies to universal, or as I like to call them, dark. They're actually the dark kind, not these heroes. Anyway, I hope this added to you some information about how to get your monsters to be stronger. I hope to see you in the next video. Take care and have a beautiful day.